what are your thoughts on that? Um, well, you heard earlier that there's no real concern about aluminum because it's such a small amount, and so it really shouldn't matter. But the kind of aluminum that we put into vaccines is a different kind of aluminum that we see environmentally. This is called a nanoparticle, and nanoparticles bind really tightly to the bacteria antigens, the virus antigens, the food protein antigens, and any other contaminants that are in the vaccines that we may not know about. And we know that the biochemical properties of nanoparticles is that they are capable of entering the brain. And so we have not evaluated the safety of the aluminum nanoparticle and its injection and where it goes when it gets into the body and whether it gets into the brain. Do vaccine ingredients belong in the brain? No. Do they get into the brain? No one has ever studied it. But animal studies using the same chemicals that are in vaccines that we give to children directly demonstrate that the vaccine ingredients do enter the brain. We are ignoring this information. There are scientists in Europe who've actually done studies on the aluminum nanoparticle and have shown that it can persist in the brain for years and decades. And so what we're seeing is a large outbreak of neurodevelopmental disabilities in adults, including Alzheimer's. And one of the main factors that they're finding in the brains of people with Alzheimer's is the aluminum nanoparticle that's directly related to the vaccines that we're giving. So we have never studied whether the aluminum that we're giving in vaccines gets into the brain, and we've never measured whether it stays in the brain and what it does if it does stay in the brain. But we do know that vaccines are supposed to cause inflammation in the body. But we have more than half of our children with chronic inflamed conditions. And we've never allowed ourselves to ask the question, if the vaccines cause inflammation acutely, do they continue to create inflammation chronically? We have one in five with neurodevelopmental disabilities, one in 10 with ADD and ADHD, one in 35 with autism, one in 11 with asthma, <clears throat> and one in 20 under the age of five with seizures. And the autoimmune diseases are exponentially rising, and we are finding that the viruses and the bacteria that we're injecting into the body along with the adjuvants, create something called molecular mimicry, which means the body sees those viruses thinking that it's foreign, but actually finds pieces of those viruses that match pieces of the self. And the immune system doesn't differentiate between what it's been told to reject and itself. So it will turn the immune system on itself, leading to an autoimmune condition. We know this about hepatitis B, we know it about the Gardasil vaccine, and we know it about the flu vaccine. And we continue to say unequivocally that the vaccines have been studied effectively and that they're safe, and that's just not true.